Look, I'm growing, I'm dying, I'm planning, I'm grinding, I'm flying. I pilot the end and the pressures of mountain, I'm Zion. Why I get older, he know the true person that I am. I focus on feeling emotions are truer than science. I'm I think I'm living in hell, though. Today, I have been seeing a lot of stuff for the past couple of days, for the past few days, even for the past week or so, um, and even other stuff that I have ran into over the past couple of months concerning this term of morality, looking at things from a human perspective and, and all this other type of stuff. And what we have to understand is that the occultic information is not for us to hate humanity, it's not for us to hate our existence in terms of who we are. We are all here for a purpose, okay? Whether you like it or not, whether you think you was here by mistake or not, or you believe in the Gnostic concept that uh, the gods tricked you into coming down here, or they trapped you in a body, you know, all of this is mythology. And you have to look through the mythology to really understand what's being said, all right? And there are many different aspects and many different ways of expressing why you're here. And primarily the reason why you're here is for you to be the avatar. It's for you to be the savior of yourself, not of the world, okay? Not, not to be a messiah towards other people, but this is your personal journey, okay? Now, one thing that we need to make clear of is that there are a lot of people who are new to this occultic information, and so they run with it by thinking that certain things that they do Cosigns to this perception of polarity uh, being uh, the concept of do what thou wilt. Okay, people think that do what thou wilt means that you do whatever you like, you do whatever you want, and that whatever you do um, that the society or other people might deem as evil is something righteous. Okay, and so people don't understand that within everything that you do, there must be a balance and there must be a form of order. Okay, this is where you're dealing with my art. So when you're dealing with the harmony of things and you're dealing with the balance of things, even chaos is order. Okay, even chaos is order. It's a principle of life. Just like life and death. Okay, it's a principle of life. So what you have to understand is that when you're dealing with polarity, you're just dealing with two sides of the same coin. Okay, you're dealing with your left path and you're dealing with your right path. Okay, and what you have to do is that you have to learn how to be the balancer. Okay, you have to be the one to learn how to maneuver the light and the dark. You have to be the one to learn how to go through the darkness into the light. All right, not just stay in darkness and not just stay in the light. Okay, you are children of the light, but you are children of the light maneuvering yourself in the dark. All right, Lucifer. You have people who say that they hate humanity, but then they want to save the animals. You know, they want to be the vegans and all of the type of stuff. So they get into that type of mundane type stuff. But then I also see people who will co-sign the mental illness that Europeans have gave to them and will say that this is a form of polarity. For an example, when I come across certain posts and they say that, oh, you know, race doesn't matter. You know, who I, who I want to mingle with, who I am generally doesn't matter because this is the humane perspective of seeing things, right? And you don't understand that when they say that there is only one race, the human race, they're right. When there's only one race, the human race, they are right. You want to know why? Because the one race, the only race, in this, per, in this world, the only race in this world that can be actually identified as an actual race, as an actual set of people, are black people. We are the nine ether beings. We are the original people of this world. So yes, we classify as the human race. We are the only people who can classify as the human race. So when they say that there is only one race, the human race, yes, that's correct. But you're not a part of it. When, when you have white people who say this type of stuff, yes, that's, that's correct. But you're not a part of it. Um, but we can deal with that for another time, for another day. Nonetheless, 
you have these these aspects of uh, the occultic stuff to where people think that just because they know a little bit of information that when they utilize their power and they understand who they are that means that oh they're somebody great and they don't understand that the industry and the society in which we live in the higher ups also know this occultic information and they put it in front of you every day through advertisement through movies through television shows so on and so forth so the people that you're up against know this type of information too. So just because you know the information doesn't make you any better than the people who are also conditioning you. Life is all about self-preservation. You're here for a reason. So you wouldn't be here just to debase yourself. Because you have to understand, and this is why that I'm thankful that I got into the pro-black consciousness type of stuff before I came into occultism. Because if I just went straight into occultism, then I probably would be going into different pathways instead of first knowing who I am. First, I have to love the reflection that I'm looking at and, and love what I'm looking at in the mirror before I can get into the deeper aspects of things. But people have not dealt with that shadow work. People call it shadow work, but shadow work is just looking at the man in the mirror. It's for you to have self-pride for yourself. It tells you in the Bible that you are supposed to love thy neighbor as thyself. But those are two laws in one. Because in order for you to love thy neighbor, to love your reflection, you first have to love. Oh, hell no! You first have to love yourself. Loving who you are and who you was created to be. So this is what people call the heart chakra work. All right, dealing with that shadow self, you know, things that you're ashamed of, you're supposed to embrace. So this is when you are going through the art, you know, going through the dark side and you know, so walking through the valley of the shadow of death. What you have to do here is that you're supposed to love who you are and what you see in the mirror. Now, who you are, who we as black people, we're, we're not supposed to be ashamed of who we are, but we have been conditioned to be ashamed of who we are because of our lineage and who we actually are in this world. And see within the perception of self-preservation, not only does it co-sign to us being with a black person, but self-preservation goes into sexuality in terms of us being with a opposite sex. But because of this society pushing LGBT and sexual confusion, on our people, on our children, in the television show, so on and so forth. Now you have people who are into the occultic stuff and they think, oh, this is a different way of seeing things. This is a different way of living life. But as I said earlier, polarity and duality is dealing with uh, more so you having a balance of things. You being Lucifer, maneuvering through darkness being of the light. So you cannot live a life that's confusing and then try to say, you know, oh, I'm this way and that way. And the Bible even tells you that a man who is double minded is, is destructive in all his ways. So you cannot live a life that's sexually confusing. You can't be a man wearing a dress or a woman trying to be a dyke trying to be a man, and then you can say that, oh, you're maneuvering in this world, uh, practicing the law of polarity, or you're trying to be somebody who is uh, balanced. That's not being balanced. Being balanced is understanding who you are, loving what you see in the mirror, and then cooperating in that light. You cannot be of the light, and you cannot be a part of the, uh, I don't know, what you, whatever you want to call it, the occultic, uh, the chosen ones, you know what I'm saying? The people walking on the narrow path. You can't be a part of that type of light, that type of organization or set of people. And you're cooperating in the same light that the society is conditioning everybody else to, to walk in. It does not operate that way. How can you be somebody who is supposed to be a reflection of the, the divine feminine? But then you want to be a, a man. You want to put on a strap on. You want to talk like a man. You want to, you know, uh, change up the way that you are. You want to change up the body in which the supreme consciousness 
purposed you to be. Same thing for the men. How are you going to change up who you are as a man and you want to try and uh, perpetrate a woman when the supreme consciousness and your ancestors and so on and so forth did not purpose you to be that way. And so this is what I was talking about. People get it very confused when it comes to this, this ideology of things. People get into new information and they run with it. People get into new information and then they run with it. And so what you have to understand is that within the law of polarity, you also have the law of gender. You have the law of rhythm. You have the law of cause and effect. You know what I'm saying? The law of polarity, when our ancestors and the people before us, when they practiced alchemy and so on and so forth, what came to their head wasn't thinking or trying to perpetrate the other sex. That's not what polarity is. Polarity when you're dealing with the light side and the dark side is maneuvering certain personality traits when dealing with yin and yang. Dealing with certain things in, in terms of how the light side supposed to be of being moral and all this other type of stuff and then dealing with the dark side when you know you have to kill, you have to be aggressive, you have to do certain things, do what is necessary for survival. So you have to learn to maneuver these lights, these forces, these powers, so that you can be the avatar, the chosen one. Whatever particular term that you want to use, the, the enlightened one, the Buddha, the Christ, so on and so forth. So when you get into the aspect of things, even Christ says that in the beginning of time was man and woman, and that which God has created, let no man separate or divide. The divine purpose, the, the ultimate union in this, in this universe, in this world, is man and woman together. That's how you have the divine feminine and divine masculine together. The, the black man and the black woman together is a representation of supreme consciousness. Supreme consciousness isn't just all feminine and it's not just all masculine. It's divine masculine and femininity together. Okay, and the black man and the black woman is that very representation. And it is through this union that you are able to have different sets of people. It's, it's through this union that you are able to build civilizations, build nations, have a lineage, have a legacy, so on and so forth. So for you to latch on to this concept and ideology that Europeans have given to you, have conditioned you to be in a certain way in which you are trying to perpetrate the other sex, that's sexual confusion. That's not polarity. That's retardation. And no disrespect to anybody who practices that particular type of lifestyle, whatever the case may be, if you come across this video. But that's not balance at all. That's not, there's no, there's no type of balance in that in you being sexually confused. I'm going to use mythology for an example. In the concept of Adam and Eve, Adam in one particular type of story. In one legend, Adam is man and woman. And so when God told Adam and, and told creation that it is not in his will for man to be alone, when he put Adam in a deep sleep, he separated the divine feminine from him and created Eve. And so this is where you have this concept in this mythology that man is always trying to find his other half because Adam desired, he loved Eve, right? And Eve loved Adam. And so this is what I was talking about where in the beginning, Jesus said that God created them man and woman. And so what you have throughout the world is man is trying to find his other half, being in union and in harmony with his other half and vice versa for the woman, for the man. You cannot have balance between two men. It just doesn't work that way. You don't have any type of creation. There's nothing going on in terms of making babies. There's no lineage. There's no nation that's going to be created through two men, through two women either. This isn't hate speech, this isn't being disrespectful to however you want to live, whatever the case may be, but it's not natural. This isn't what nature creates. This is wasn't this this is not shown throughout nature. I don't care what the Europeans might try to portray to you, this illusion they, they want to portray to you through uh, whatever type of media outlet they might use to say that, oh, animals are practicing homosexuality. When animals don't even have the consciousness to do, you know, to, to, to decipher 
from left to right. You know, an animal is an animal, and that, that's not to say that they're not um, complex. That's not to say that they're not intelligent. But they don't have the consciousness that we have. We're obviously two different types of beings. But the European will tell you that we are animals. <laughs> and the only reason why they say that is because they are the ones that have animal DNA within them. But nonetheless, I'm Tyrone. Thank you for watching this video. Like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, comment below about how you feel about what I say. If you like what I say, if you don't like what I say, let me know in the comment section below. Until next time, I'm Tyrone, and I'm out.